A disk partition, often known as a partition, is a portion of a computer hard drive that is isolated from other segments. Users can split a physical disk into logical sections using partitions, allowing different operating systems to operate on the same device, for example. There are many tools you can use to partition the hard disk drive. For example, Windows Disk Management, third-party tools like EasyUS Partition Master, or the Disk Part command is handy when you partitioning. In this video, I am showing you how to shrink partition, create a new partition, expand partition using Windows Disk Manager, the built-in disk management tool in Windows 11. The same tool is available in Windows 10 and all the steps are identical. Therefore, you can follow this video to partition your Windows 10 PC too. In my setup, I have two hard disk drives. The first disk is 40 GB of capacity, and the second disk is 30 GB capacity, of course for demonstration. You can easily open the disk management tool, searching for disk management in the start menu or Windows search. It will show create and format hard disk partitions under settings, which is the disk management tool. You can see the list view of the current partition table at the top of the window. Then the installed disk drives in your PC. You can see there are two hard disk drives and one CD-ROM drive is connected. The first hard disk, disk 0 has three partitions including the OS. The second hard disk, disk 4 only has one partition. As you can see, there is no free space, we shall shrink a partition to gain some space. Shrink partition. The shrink operation is the process of attempting to reduce the size of a hard disk partition to free up unallocated space that may be used for several purposes. You may either add the unallocated space to another partition that requires additional space or just create a new partition on the unallocated space with a drive letter. To shrink the partition, select the Shrink Volume option in the context menu of the partition you need to resize. I have selected the C partition. Now you will see the Shrink Volume window. It shows the current size, the available amount of space to shrink, which are the values you cannot change. Then you can enter the amount of the space to shrink in MB. This is the only value you can change manually, which will be the available space for the new partition after shrink. I am shrinking or you can say removing 10 GB from the current partition. Total size after shrink means the size of the current partition after shrink. Now click on the shrink button. You can see the partition structure after shrinking. The C partition size decreased by 10 GB, and you can see 10 GB of unallocated space in disk 0. This is not a partition, but space left unallocated. If you check the partitions from Windows Explorer, you can see the C partition with reduced size. And you cannot see unallocated space. Now I am going to create a new partition. Right click on the unallocated space and select the new simple volume option. This will open the new simple volume wizard. You can specify the size of the new partition. I am giving all the free space to the new partition. You can select a drive letter from the drop-down for your new partition in this step. In the Format Partition step, you can format the partition using given options or you can just keep it without formatting, which is useful if you install a separate OS on the same PC. I am going to format the partition using NTFS, and allocation unit size is set to default, which is the 4096 bytes for a block. The smaller the block size you can store small files without wasting your disk space. The volume label is the name for your new partition. You can perform a quick format and you can enable file and folder compression for the drive if you want. 
In the last step, the wizard shows you the summary of the partition creation settings you have made. The finish button creates the partition as per your settings. When you go to this PC in File Explorer you can see the new partition with the drive letter you selected and the label. Let's do the same to the D partition. I am shrinking the D partition by 10 GB and creating a 5 GB new partition. But with a small change. This time I am not going to mount the partition with a drive letter, but I am going to mount the new partition to a folder. This time I am selecting the option, mount in the following empty NTFS folder. And I am creating a new empty folder on my desktop to mount the partition. Select the drive C, users, your username, desktop, which is the desktop of the selected user. Then give a name for your folder, which reflects the content. In Format Partition Windows, I am selecting the default settings for the partition. You can see the newly created partition in the Disk Management Tool window. But you cannot see the partition in the Files Explorer window since the partition is not mounted with a drive letter. but you can see the partition mounted with the folder I created on the desktop. There are 5 gigabytes more non-allocated space left. Do not assign a drive letter or drive path, option is left. What is the use of this option? Well, this will create a partition and formats it with the selected file system. But it will not show in the File Explorer window. 
If you want to copy files to this drive, you need to assign a drive letter. Or if you intend to format the drive without using it on the current machine but to move the disk to another machine. Well, go ahead and think of something new with this option and comment on your idea below. Extend Partition I am going to delete the newly created partition and show you how to extend a partition. Please note that to extend a partition using the disk management tool you need to have unallocated space after the partition you want to extend. The disk management tool does not support move partitions and gain space to extend partitions. Select the extend volume option from the context menu of the partition you want to extend. Extend Volume Wizard shows you the available volume to extend. If you have multiple volumes available, it will show under the Available box. You can remove or add volumes as you wish if you have multiple volumes. Then enter the amount of space you want to extend. Now you can see the selected partition has grown with the unallocated space you entered. While you do this volume shrinking and extending, there are few common questions you may face. 1. Does shrinking partition cause data loss? As previously said, reducing the volume creates unallocated space without affecting current data. There will be no data loss whether you use Windows Disk Management, third-party tools like EasyUS Partition Master, or the Disk Part command. 2. There isn't enough room to shrink the partition. This error is likely to occur if the disk volume you're trying to reduce contains unmovable files that are in the center of the hard drive. 3. A volume cannot be shrunk beyond a certain point. Certain files, like the paging file or the shadow copy storage region, cannot be automatically relocated when you shrink a partition, thus you can't reduce the allotted space beyond the point where the unmovable files are placed. 4. What are the benefits of extending volume? In Windows, you may expand existing main partitions and logical drives onto adjacent unallocated space on the same disk to gain extra capacity. A logical drive can be expanded by contiguous free space in the extended partition that includes it. When the system C drive runs out of space, many Windows users will feel compelled to expand it. Extending the system partition on your Windows 11 tenths PC might be beneficial. You may make full advantage of spare or unallocated space that is not being used by other partitions by expanding your system volume or C partition. And one of the most major advantages of expanding your C drive is that your computer will run better and faster. And that's all for the video. Thank you.